The torrential downpour didn't stop the Gladstone Braves and Calumet Copper Kings from giving us an epic game of the week to start the 2021 season. They set the bar high with their play tonight. Let's go to Agassiz Field, the home of the Copper Kings, who welcomed in Gladstone. Braves going to get on the board first to get us started as Cole Potier going to cross the goal line standing up. Now the Braves would convert the two-point conversion to make it 8-0 Gladstone. Later in the game, Dryden Nelson going to take the pitch, and he shows off the speed, showing me flashes of Darren Sproles there. That is a touchdown, and he is just getting started. In the fourth quarter, Nelson. Going to take the ball and he'll bull rush his way in for another touchdown. We're tied at 14 with under two minutes to go in the game. Gladstone comes right back the other way. Poultier are going to find the end zone once again. That's going to give the Braves the 2014 lead. Calumet running out of time. Paul Sturos. He's going to drop back and throw an absolute dime to Nelson. And how special is this kid? He's going to dive and reach for the pylon for his third score of the game. Now this game would go into overtime. And here is the game deciding touchdown courtesy of Gladstone's Nate Young. Calumet would have another opportunity, but the Braves defense would hold. The Braves go to Calumet and get a statement win early in the season, topping the Copper Kings 26 to 20. You know, we just stuck with our game plan. We didn't panic when things went good, bad, or otherwise. We just kind of stuck with it. The kids uh, just went out there and made plays down the stretch, never stopped believing, never quit. It always feels good to get a win. I mean, anytime you come up here, you're going to have a tough game against Coach Brosey and, and the Copper Kings. And tonight was just a whale of a football game, and I'm, I couldn't be more, more happy for my team to come out on top of it. We go now to McAfee Field on the campus of Finlandia University. Hancock taking on Lance. No score in the first quarter. First and goal from the five for the Purple Hornets. Dyshawn Allen going to rumble his way into the end zone. Give Lance the 8-0 lead after the successful two-point conversion. Hancock then puts a drive together. Chad Nordstrom going to take the quick screen pass. He's going to make a couple guys miss, miss with some nice moves. And there he goes down the sideline. He's going to get pushed out just inside the five-yard five line. Two plays later, the Bulldogs are going to get a little tricky with it. The reverse going to work to perfection as Nordstrom is able to fit it just inside the pylon. It is 8-6, Lance leading. Here come the Purple Hornets on fourth and two. Allen takes the handoff. He breaks a big run. He's going to eventually get chased down inside the red zone. Now I'm going to show the next play twice because I'm not going to lie, I did get a bit faked out here. But I was able to get this amazing catch by Braden Lee. Let's take one more look. He's sliding, but he stays concentrated, and he makes that grab. Lance, however, going to fall to Hancock 28-12. Let's go to Ishpeming, where the Hematites returned after a one-year hiatus, and they showed no rust, already up two scores in the third. Preston Gothier are going to take the handoff, and he is determined to not let anyone take him down. A break of multiple tackles, and see you later. Cody Kugler starts off his head coaching career with the Hematites, picking up a 22-8 win over Manistique. Moving on now to Ishpeming's West End, where Westwood hosted Houghton. Westwood down 8 0 early. The Patriots, they have a good one in their backfield. His name is Zachary Carlson. Look how he's able to weave his way through the Gremlin defenders. He finds the end zone. This game was tied up at 8 after the two point conversion. Later, Carlson going to take the snap, bounces his outside, picks up a couple, a couple of nice blocks. And there he goes down the sideline, 70 yards to the house. Westwood wins big over Houghton tonight, 52 8. Here are some more scores for you. Remember, if you have a football score, send it over to us by messaging it to the High School Sports Zone, Twitter or Facebook. You can also call me here at our station. Kingsford, they have no problem with Green Bay East. They win 45 to 6. And how about the Munising Mustangs? A big win tonight over Cedarville, 28 to nothing. The Sioux Blue Devils, they also get a shutout win over St. Ignis, 37 to 0. And the Bark River Harris Broncos, they take care of the Gwynn Model Towners 20-7.